Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. In yesterday's livestream from Gamescom EA showed us quite a bit of Titanfall 2's multiplayer. So I thought that now would be a good time to talk about the netcode and the server locations of Titanfall 2, especially because a lot of players seem to be confused when it comes to the tick rate and the update rates that it will use. So, because there was a lot of confusion when I began my research, I decided to go on Reddit where I found Slothy, who is one of the lead engineers on Titanfall 2, and he was so kind to answer quite a few of my questions. If you want to read that Reddit topic, then you can find the link in the description down below. So first, let's have a look at Titanfall 1. When it comes to the update rates, then the Titanfall 1 client receives 10 updates per second from the game server and it sends 30 updates per second to the game server. These update rates are an important factor for the lag that you will experience in the game, because even at a ping of 0 milliseconds, you will have to wait at least 100 milliseconds until you get an answer from the Titanfall 1 game server, since it only sends an update to your client every 100 milliseconds. So these update rates, together with the tick rate of the game, set the lowest possible delay that a player can possibly get. The ping of the player is then an additional factor that increases the lag even further. And if you have a ping of 20 or 200 milliseconds, it's mostly affected by the distance between you and the dedicated game server. The game servers that you play or played Titanfall 1 on were all provided by Microsoft's cloud service called Azure, which currently has data centers in these locations. So the closer you live to one of those locations, the lower is your ping when you play on a game server that is hosted there. And when you play on a game server which is hosted in a data center very far away from you, then you will have a much higher ping, since the distance between you and the game server is what affects how long the data needs to travel between the client and the game server. This is why it's so important for multiplayer games to use high tick and update rates, as these allow for much shorter delays. They also reduce the negative effect that the ping of the player has, and they make the game feel more responsive. Now, what will change in Titanfall 2? In Titanfall 1, the game client sends 30 updates per second to the game server and receives 10 updates per second from the game server. In Titanfall 2, these update rates have been increased, so that the game client now sends 60 updates per second to the game server, which runs at a tick rate of 60Hz and sends 20 updates per second to the game client. This means that instead of receiving an update every 100 milliseconds from the game server, the game client now gets an update every 50 milliseconds, while it sends an update every 16 milliseconds instead of every 33 milliseconds. So this will have quite a big impact on the lag in Titanfall 2, but it's not just the tick and update rates that affect lag. There are more factors in the networking and the engine that have an impact on how much delay you experience. So if the developers improve these elements as well, then this could decrease the network lag even further. Now how about the game servers? Titanfall 2 will also spawn servers inside Microsoft's Azure, which currently has data centers in these locations. In addition to that, the game also uses Google's cloud service and the Amazon Web Service, which adds quite a few more locations where servers are hosted. But Titanfall 2 does not only run on cloud servers. They also use dedicated servers hosted by a company called Multiplay, which is in the server hosting business since 1997. So this means that players will have many more locations to connect to, which has a very positive impact on their lag. However, you will also notice that areas like South Africa or the Middle East do not have any servers, which means that players who live there will sadly have to deal with quite a lot of latency until they get servers in their locations. So thanks to the higher tick and update rates, players will have less lag in Titanfall 2. But how much lag is there in Titanfall 1? To find out, we need a high-speed camera that is able to record at 400 frames per second, and two PCs where each of them has a 144Hz gaming monitor and separate internet connections. For the delay test, I point my camera at both monitors, which allows me to count the frames between where I see that the player fired his gun on his monitor and where I see the gun fire on the monitor of the other player. After 40 tests, the longest delay I measured was 153 milliseconds. On average, I got 141 milliseconds, and the lowest measured delay was 130 milliseconds when both players had a ping of 24 milliseconds to the game server. Now, what can we expect from Titanfall 2? If the upcoming server test would also be available on PC and not just on console, then I could answer the question in just a few weeks. Or if I had two consoles, then I could also perform the netcode tests on console and provide you with an answer. So sadly, I cannot provide you with any numbers for Titanfall 2 until it's released. 
However, what we can do is take a look at the results from Overwatch, which also used update rates of 60 and 20 Hz. And as we see here, the delay is much lower in Overwatch than it is in Titanfall 1. So if that's an indicator of what we get in Titanfall 2, then that's definitely something that we can look forward to. However, Overwatch recently updated its servers so that they now also send 60 updates per second. And that had a really dramatic impact on the delay as you can see here. In fact, it's currently the fastest 60Hz multiplayer game that I ever tested, which shows how important a high tick rate as well as high update rates are. So, as I said, I can sadly not test the netcode of Titanfall 2 before its release, since that technical test is not taking place on PC, and I do not have two consoles here, which I would need to do the same delay tests on console. However, once I get my hands on a PC version, I will do a test and release an in-depth video that takes a look at the various aspects of Titanfall 2's netcode. So make sure that you keep an eye out for that. Also, if you like this kind of videos where I take a close look at how certain aspects of video games work and how these affect your experience, then please consider to support me through Patreon, as that is really the only way for me to keep this channel alive that provides you with that kind of niche content. You can find the link to my Patreon site in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.